Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. To Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. When you're about to announce to New Yorkers the biggest new thing in long distance, you want to make sure you get it right. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to... Watching Family Feud, you notice a few patterns when it comes to the beginning of Family Feud to now. Basically, just about four decades and a little more. And there are some things you notice, and a lot of times it's pretty awkward. Now, there have been some weird patterns that game show people like me have been noticing. The one weird one being, if you have the bullseye round at any point during your career as a host, you're probably going to get fired after that season. Happened twice as far as I know of. And there is another thing that I kind of see as a problem. And my best friend who requested me to make this video notices it too. Ever since the last season of John O'Hurley which has been just about five years ago, there's been a pretty weird pattern going on. A pattern that he and I don't like. If you ever listen to the intro for the last season for John O'Hurley and Steve Harvey's version, you will notice that they are playing Ray Combs' version of Family Feud's theme. And I think they are overblowing it a bit too much. See, here is the main problem I have with Family Feud doing that. The main thing is, it goes back to something that WWE has done with a wrestler who is deceased. And it seems like WWE is trying to erase all of that wrestler's history. If you know who I'm referring to, congratulations. But anyway, it seems to be that for whatever reason, the people at Family Feud are trying to apparently erase Ray's history. Because one way or another, they are implementing things from his version of the show into other things. Think of it this way. Remember when I referenced the bullseye round that was on John O'Hurley's version before he got ditched? Well, that was actually on Ray Combs' version of Family Feud before he got ditched. And unlegitimately, I might add, on both cases. And another thing that kind of irks me is the fact that you keep using the Ray Combs' version theme for Family Feud ever since O'Hurley's last season. This has been going on just about six years, if not more. And personally, I think it's more of a diss. Now, if you want to reflect history, bring back the first theme. It's the original theme. People can relate to it. Otherwise, you're going to have people think you're trying to diss Ray Combs. Which, people who are fans of his, including me, are sick and tired of. Now, if you want to differentiate into a different version and a different legacy for Steve Harvey, other than your constant ridiculous sex questions, which is one of the reasons I can't watch Steve Harvey's version anymore, here's an easy way to do that. And here's a better way you can connect to the fans. Make a Family Feud theme for Steve Harvey that A, doesn't mimic any other theme of the past, 
and B can apply to him. I have a song thanks to my best friend that I think can help with that. Someone made some sort of rap song <laughs> and they used the Family Feud theme uh, their own version of the Family Feud theme as a rap beat, which was pretty intriguing. Now, Steve Harvey always uh, tends to be the one from the hood kind of thing. That is something he can connect with. That is something I think can be relatable in terms of his own legacy in terms of Family Feud. But until you're able to change it to a different theme, and I don't mean something completely off the wall like he did with Louie Anderson and Richard Carnes' version, it doesn't matter to me if you have the original tune or not, as long as you're not completely taking someone else's theme, like you do with Ray Combs. For the love of God, stop trying to diss him. Okay? The dude's been gone almost 20 years, and I still feel like the people running Family Feud now are trying to diss him one way or another. So, Family Feud people, do me a favor and prove me wrong. Change Steve Harvey's theme. I don't care if you have to hit Popify or Rapify or put a different beat into it. I don't care. Just stop using Ray Combs' theme. Okay? That's all I ask. That's all anyone asks. Okay? And while we're on that subject, less sex questions, hmm? You can't say family feud without family. Duh. But anyway, that's basically the main thing. I don't know why you guys are incentive on dissing Ray. And fans like me are sick of it. So for the betterment of individuality and less mimicking from the past, for the love of God, give Steve Harvey his own family feud theme. Stop using Ray Combs theme. And that's my final answer. Hello everyone. I hope you can still see this. Yes, I still have the her hat, the Vietnamese hat. This is me, my favorite character from Mortal Kombat, Lord Raiden, which next year will mark the 30th anniversary of the first movie, Mortal Kombat, that debuted in 1995. But coming up this year, in December, will be the 30th anniversary of the movie Street Fighter, the star John Claude Van Damme, the late Ronald Julia. For those of you who don't remember, he played Gomez Adams in the first 1990 movie, Adams Family, where Christina Ricci, when she was young, Angelica Houston was in it too. Mina Wen, who was best known as Mulan, she played Chun Li. Kali Manon, who was Cammy, she's Australian, but the character is British, and other famous people, including Wes Studi. If you don't know who he is, you guess you never saw the does Last of the Mohicans. He was in that movie. He played Sagat with the eye patch from Thailand. That was him. But besides that, I'm following up for what Ultimate 23 Dragon said about give Steve Harvey his own theme song for Family Feud. Because now he's entering his 15th year hosting the show. That's longer than Richard Dawson, the original host, hosted. If you add the eight, nine years, plus the year he came back in 1994, that beats him by five. The man needs to... to Ray Combs passed away in 1996. 
it will be 30 years since his death coming up next year. I seen a video that this his last one and he walked off the stage at the end of the, the end of the show of his run. And they still using the same music from, from when he was hosting the show from 1988 on current Family Feud. I agree with her. It's time to revamp or change the music. And why are you going to, just, to keep on using the same damn thing? They changed the music on The Price is Right at Kaloff, who composed the music for that show. Also, best known who composed the music for a bunch of game shows, score productions, including my favorite, Double Dare, regular, super sloppy, family, and the uh, revamped one, not Double Dare 2000, and believe me, that music, that one, it sucked. No offense if anybody likes Double Dare 2000. Get that music off there, change it up, something. Get the music from 1994, when Dawson came back. It sounded much, much good, even though it sounded portion of this one, or July she did. Revamp the original theme song from Rick Dawson, when Dawson first hosted. It's still the same thing. I mean, it was, it was much good, even though they added a bunch of beats and drums to the, uh, to the updated one in 1988 when Ray Collins did it. But why you want to keep using the same thing, especially for Celebrity Family Feud? Get something else. Or maybe at the end of this video, use this theme song, this rap hip hop song that I found from this group called Double Impact that was on YouTube, no longer there. Luckily, I say the MP3 song, use it for Steve Harvey to host a show. For, for, I mean, for, for fa us Family Feud fans, I ask myself, use the music for something else. Don't use the music from 1988, okay? With all due respect, may Ray Combs, Richard Dawson, and Louis Anderson, who passed away two years ago, forever be remembered and rest in peace. But I stopped watching this show because of the damn sexual annual questions, so I can't watch that. But you know what? You do what you have to do to producers and the company of Fremantle, which is still owns the rights of Family Feud, which, you know what? I I'm, I'm know my history. Mark Goodson Productions still owns part of Family Feud, and they just moved the studio back to the original studios, Television City of Hollywood. Which they need to do the same thing. Why the hell they moved the studio and everything else of the press right to a new haven place. I'm sorry, but you should have just stayed the way you had it. At the Bar Barker Studio at Television City of Hollywood. The show's been there since day one. Bob Barker would forever forever, ever rest in peace. He would have been a hundred one if he still lived. But honestly, give that version of Family Feud his own thing song and stop using the 1988 music. You want to use something? Check out this song for current Family Feud and tell me how you think. Because my best friend, I agree with her. And you tell me how you think. And the words of Richard Dawson, may he forever rest in peace. We'll see you here on the Family Feud. Yeah. Right. See the bouncers at the door. It's a long ass line, yo. DJ got the music up loud. But we in here, yo. We in here for the big party. That girl, that girl, that girl is hot. Got the streets on lock in major drop. She won't get me pop off the HP knock with her head up high and swag to the top. Now she's on two shots while the booty rock. She's every man's stream, I respect her lot. Gotta own everything, puts her cards in the lot. She's an independent girly girl running the spot. My ladies is in here, doing it.
I came to rock the party, I came to party party The place so packed, oh girl, your body body The sexy body body, your beauty, yaddy yaddy Double impact, we made and double double We cause and double double for money, we hustle hustle We going to the top, we on another level Plotting like the fast, platinum is the metal Bury your ass quick, pick the bigger shovel The weed so green, your dick is yellow yellow Get them so high, you say you hello hello Sour, I have a nigga straight, a mellow metal I hate the devil, devil lick off, bezel bezel Bumping the iron, work out, muscle hustle Playing the space, take grand, shuffle shuffle And what you go you, she was licking on my sickle What you go you, she was sucking on my pickle Every year in the hood, a nigga die from a slug slug And the bullet hit his mug mug From another jealous man, we call a thug thug Big time That girl, that girl, that girl is hot Got the streets on lock, in nature Drop, she won't pay me, pop off the each beat Knock, put her head up high, and swag to the top Now she's on two shots, watch the booty pop Every man, she ain't my respect, her lot Gotta own everything, puts a car to the lot She's an independent girl, the girl running the spot My ladies, it's a hit Yo, the one hit, yo We came to pop bottles, you know We fuck models, pop a bottle of Moscato Like we just won a lot of We came to start trouble, we never Do the talking. Take me home, please, Mr. Ludden. Take me home, please, Mr. Ludden. Reptile. 